what is what are now to us anonymous artists who are able to do everything that we can do today. And nothing is new. I think the best advice is to learn to look. And that's the most perhaps the most difficult to try to implement because you you see everything and you think you you digest it. But if you want to do a world of art history and, and, and a curatorial career, I think it's train yourself to go back and look and, and ask yourself, have I really seen this object? Or um, what, what, what draws me to it? Why do I want to work with objects? What, how do they speak to me? Uh, how do I relate to them? Uh, and, and it's a matter of learning to see, and that was actually the name of the biography, the autobiography of a famous art historian, learning to see. All of art was modern when it was made. So, mm -hmm. in a hundred years, I always like to quiz my, my colleagues, uh, how much of your contemporary art will be even remembered in a hundred years? By extension, a lot of what was done in Greek times it's either lost or yeah. forgotten or destroyed, and we have only one percent. So it's 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 good to have an acquaintance with modern art to put other things into perspective. And we know that reading the ancient sources, uh, it's a process called ganosis in ancient Greece, which meant like a watercolor uh, application of, of of faint paint on the stone, so that you have. A, a lifelike color for the eyes, for the hair, for the mouth, for the teeth, but it's not, it doesn't obliterate the texture and the, the shine of the stone. And all the wooden material from Greece is available only in sanctuaries that have been underwater. Samos, for instance, the island of Samos has yielded a lot of wood, whereas in Egypt everything made of wood has survived because it's been buried in these chambers which are completely devoid of any humidity. Uh, and th that is the answer for the survival of, of the polychromy in the Egyptian works, because it's so dry, there's no humidity, and, and uh, there's no sea that, that will, will make the paint uh, disappear. Right. I would say in my department, one of the most rare and expensive, you, if you could find one to buy nowadays, would be our statue of Akuros, a standing youth which is the, the earliest, most complete Greek statue in existence of a male figure, which is a standard uh, figure shown about to move, and there were mostly grave markers. And this is the only one in America that's complete, and one of the earliest ones, and that certainly ranks among our top five. Uh, you know that you've reached a good point when you never get tired of looking at a fabulous object. Because each time you see it, you find out, or, or you get a glimpse. It's like you throw all the stars and they shine differently. You, 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 you see something else.